Welcome. Question number three. If n plus one combination n minus one equals one or six, uh, n plus one permutation uh, n minus one. We have to find the value of n. Let's get started. Remember, we need to note that we need to note that if I have n combination R, it is n factorial R factorial n minus R or factorial. And uh, can I put that of the n combination? This n combination R and this n permutation. Sorry, I think I missed the two up. This is going to be n minus R or Factorial. So this is a combination and the factorial and the permutation a formula that we are going to make use of. So this is the n, all of this is the r. So if I pick the first one, let me see, repeat it, n plus 1 combination n minus 1 equals to 1 on 6 n plus 1 permutation n minus 1. If I am doing this, I am picking the n plus 1 as a factorial from here divided by r which is our n minus 1 or factorial n plus 1 in the case of this minus n minus 1 right okay or what factorial then equals to 1 on 6 uh, let's still bring this should be n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1, this very one, then minus n minus 1 or what? Factorial. I guess that is clear. Alright, so now what we need to do is to try our best to be able to cancel some of the factorial or if not all from the expressions we are having. So first thing first, you check from here, if I open this bracket, it becomes minus n, then this becomes plus. Same, if I open this, minus n plus. So, let me just uh, go ahead and keep the n plus 1 factorial as the first stage, then divided by my n minus 1 factorial. I'm going to... Uh, expand it without writing it this is going to be minus n plus what uh, one so minus n minus n will go i'll be left with only one plus one that will be two so that will give me two factorial equals to one on six i still have my numerator n plus one or factorial in the case of this similar thing is going to happen if you open the bracket, n is negative, positive 1, and n will subtract, I'll have 2 factorial as well. Alright. So, what is next? It is for me to, uh, if I multiply through by 2 factorial, this 2 factorial and 2 factorial will cancel, right? That is the first thing to do. Or, I multiply by the 2 factorial and that of what? The 6, thing 6 is also a denominator. So let's see uh, if I can do that magic. Multiply by 6 times what? 2 factorial. Let me put times here. So if I multiply, I will not be showing the multiplication, okay? I am managing space. You can show that. So if I multiply here, the 6 will stay. The 2 factorial in the denominator will cancel. So I'll be left with 6 and plus 1 factorial this cancels will divided by n minus 1 factorial i could have expanded this also but let's go step by step 6 is cancelling here factorial is cancelling i'll be having only n plus 1 or what factorial all right what is next uh we are to bring in the, uh, the actual factorial expansion if i subtract one from here let's see which one can work so we're having n plus one minus one if i subtract that 
I see we have him only n. Then the n will come again minus what? 1 factorial. I believe this is n minus 1 in the denominator. So that will cancel. So let's apply that and see. If it doesn't, we have to change our course. So as we'll be having 6 into bracket n plus 1 as the first n number of the factorial, then the reduction will be n followed by n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 or factorial n plus 1 or what? Factorial. Alright, I think in that case, this will be cancelling this. Is that not it? This will cancel that. Uh, so I should be left with only 6 n plus 1 times n equals to uh, n plus 1 factorial. What can I do from here? What can I do? What can I do? If you expand, you get quadratic. Uh, remember, this is n plus 1 factorial, n plus 1 factorial. That was what we expanded in this form. So, if I expand it, I will get common term. So, let's see if what I'm seeing will work. n plus 1 times n equals to n plus 1 times n, n minus 1 factorial. Right away from here. The whole of this is equal to what we are seeing here. So we are doing the same thing. So here we are to divide by the common factor. So that if I divide by the common factor, so that I have to write it, okay. Divide by n plus 1 times n. If you do so, you will be left with 6 equals to n minus 1 or factorial. Now we are left with factorial at one side, which we need to cancel. Uh, but I think we can write uh, 6 as also a factorial. 6 factorial could be... A 6 as a factorial would be 3 factorial, right? If I have 3 times 2 times 1, that will give me 6. So I can easily say that 6 as an answer is rather 3 factorial equals to n minus 1 factorial. So you can see that I have factorial at both sides, so I can cancel the factorial out, leaving the numbers before the factorial. I think that will make sense. All right, so let's do that and see. So right from here, if we divide by the factorial, let me see if I can write that, divide by factorial, right? Then I'll be left with 3 equals to n minus 1. If you group like terms, we become 3 plus 1 equals to n, 4 equals to n. So therefore, the value of n is going to be 4. So if we change the positions of all that we've written, if I can remember, we have n plus 1. So that will be 5 combination. It's not n minus 1. That will be 3. It's equals to 1 on 6. Uh, 5 permutation that would be 4, right? Good, let's see. So if you expand this, you get a result as this. This is what uh, will it be 4 here? No, it will be n minus 1. So this will give us what? 3. So this right here is equal to 6 times that, which is true because uh, under permutation, we don't have the r multiplying the n minus 1. The r is a which is a 3. 3 combination is a 6. So when multiplied by this, it makes everything be what? The same. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe and come back for question 4.